Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well stuck at home. So today I decided that it would be a lot of fun to make this recipe my grandpa taught me about 10 years ago. It's this really easy, simple yogurt and cool whip pie recipe. So let's begin. So let's look at the ingredients you'll need for it. So you'll need a pie crust. You could make one, but just go store-bought. So this is a Keyword Graham Cracker Pie Crest. And then you'll need a tub of Cool Whip. This one is eight ounces. And then you'll need two things of yogurt. They can be the Yoplait containers, those tall ones, or these ones from Walmart. And so you'll probably want to get a fruit flavored one, but you can get any kind that you want. So if you want to get like if they have those chocolate mousse pie yogurts, that would work just fine. But today I got strawberry banana yogurts. So let's begin. So you'll want to take the top off and cool it. Just scoop it into this mixing bowl with a spatula. And then you'll want to make sure you get every last bit of Cool Whip. Can't let any of that go to waste. All right, that's been cleaned out pretty well. Then you'll want to take your yogurts, take the tops off those, then just plop them in this bowl. And you want to use some of the spatula to get that out. But yeah, my grandpa taught me this about 10 years ago. He lives in Iowa City, actually just a couple blocks away from the school and we were at his house one day and he had this pie and I asked him what goes in it, where'd you get it? Because I assumed he got it from like Perkins or something and he's like, no, I just made it myself. Just a tub of Cool Whip and a couple yogurts and you're good to go. So I've been making it ever since for family gatherings like Easter, I've made it for a couple birthday cakes for people. It goes with everything and it's really light and it's just a great dessert. And it's just so easy to make. I can't say that enough, it's so easy. So then you have everything in your mixing bowl, so you just start mixing it. You can do that with a whisk, but the spatula works just fine. So you'll wanna make sure it is all one color. You can see that there is still some streaks of where the yogurt hasn't mixed totally yet. So you just wanna whip that up real good. And then after about not even a minute of stirring, you'll get it's pretty even texture. It's supposed to look really smooth and creamy. And so that is what you want. So you'll take the pie crust, wanna undo it, which could have been done beforehand, but we're improving here today. So have your open pie crust, and then you just spoon this in. I'll adjust the camera so you can see that better. And this goes great with fresh fruit. So if you have strawberries or blueberries or bananas, you can cut those up and put little slices around the top of the pie. And that makes it look kind of cool. And you're also getting some more servings of fruit, which is never a bad thing. All right. And then once you've gotten all of the pie filling out, you'll want to start spreading it around so it's nice and even. This only takes a minute or so. All right, we are almost done. So, we've got this beautiful looking pie, if I do say so myself. So what you'll want to do is grab that lid just slide it back on there. And then we're gonna pop this in the freezer and we're gonna let it sit there for 
maybe half an hour to an hour to let it get set so that when you take it out you can cut it and it's really solid and it doesn't fall apart and it's really good. All right, so here is our finished product, our Cool Whip and yogurt pie on a graham cracker crust. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you decide to make it, let me know what flavors you use. All right, hope to see you guys soon.